nicest parts of cruising is that you wake up in a different destination. Overnight we had sailed to Doha and Qatar. We are here in Doha, Qatar, where the World Cup took place back in December 2022. We're staying on the ship today, we're not getting off. I'm going to flip the camera the other way so you can see what we are seeing from here. It's just basically skylines and buildings. We decided not to get off here and we had boycotted most of the World Cup that happened here in December. It should be 26 degrees Celsius today, 78 Fahrenheit. Join us again for a day by the pool. Come along. Welcome back to the channel and it's day 6 of our 7 night cruise around the Persian Gulf. We are ported today in Doha, the capital of Qatar, so we can see the football stadium where the World Cup took place from the deck of the ship. This is the ship the WAG stayed on during the time at the World Cup. So it's time for breakfast so let's head up to the buffet. I found some halloumi cheese this morning and got excited but it was stone cold. I had some pastries for breakfast again. We are in port until around 5 o'clock this afternoon with an all aboard time of 4.30. There are also going to be new guests joining us today. Luke and Jerome from Holland that we met in the thermal suite get off today and fly home. Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Doha, Qatar, where the World Cup took place back in December 2022. We're staying on the ship today, we're not getting off. I'm going to flip the camera the other way so you can see what we are seeing from here. It's just basically skylines and buildings. Over this side, you'll be able to see the terminal building, which is brand new. This is here the last time we came here. Still building it. Massive terminal building. And then as you can see, here are some of the flags of the countries in the World Cup. I can see Germany in the background. I can see Belgium. Uh, what else is here? I can see America. I can see Wales over there. Let's see if we can zoom in. There are Welsh fans. There's your flag. Coming around this way. I can see Spain, I can see Canada and Argentina, so we'll have a look for them, there we go. There's Canada and that is, our, I think, Argentina. Uh, just up there. That's Argentina, I'm not sure what the other one was with the blue stripes. If we go back this way, we can see Switzerland and then literally there's an the English flag there for England to take part in the World Cup as well. If I can zoom back out again, you can see some of the buildings are in the distance, lots of buses and stuff coming in. As I say, there is people getting on and off the ship today. So Yaron and Luke that we met earlier on the ship are getting off today in Qatar and flying home on Qatar Airlines back to Holland. I believe they're a very good airline to fly with. We're back in Dubai tomorrow, so we've got one day back in Dubai tomorrow, and then on Saturday morning, we disembark MSC World Europa, and we head back to the United Kingdom. 
We have an early morning flight around about 9 o'clock in the morning. We get back to the UK around about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Enough time to get unpacked, get all the washing and stuff done, and then unfortunately get ready for work again on Monday morning. Got a big terminal building here. It's a nice archway design. Last time we were here, they just had some falcons outside. They also had some uh, people dressed in national costume, and they were doing kind of a little dance for us as well. Doesn't look like that's going to happen today, but that might actually be happening inside the terminal building. And then we just gonna point my finger here. The airport's over here somewhere. We've been watching a couple of planes take off. So I think now it's time for me to hit the lounger. I'm gonna go and do that. Whatever you're doing today, please enjoy, and we will pick you up a little bit later. As I was exploring the ship this morning, I found a bank of phone charging lockers and a vending machine. You can have 20 minutes of free charge in these lockers from what I could make out. The vending machine had crisps and sweets and snacks, toiletries and games and Lego ships for kids. It's time for a dip in the hot tub and to lounge in the loungers, we're going to pick you up in a bit. Paul went to get some pizza and chips from the poolside diner for lunch. The pizza and chips were lukewarm by the time he got back. He had a virgin pina colada to wash it down with and I had some sparkling water. It wasn't the warmest out today, the sun would come and go behind the clouds. So we were glad when 2pm came so we could head down to the thermal suite. In the thermal suite I do like the twinkling lights above the hydro pool area. It would be easy to recreate with some MDF and some rope lights and a drill and some patience. The only thing that is quite annoying is the waterfall is constantly on in the background. It can be quite loud. You do drown it out as your time goes on, pun intended, but it would be great if it switched off for a bit as this area is quite relaxing. The only room that is not working is the snow room which is pretty poor.
I went back to the room for a disco nap, decided to watch the latest episode of CSI Vegas and have some me time. Whilst I was doing this, we had set sail, so I nipped out to get the Doha skyline in the evening as we were leaving port. We then headed down to Lestuna's restaurant. So here is the menu. If you want to view it further, just press the pause button. Paul had a spana copita, basically just spinach and feta cheese pie for starters, and I had lasagna bolognese. Both were okay, a little bland but edible. Hot plates this time, so they stayed warmer for longer. For mains, we both had grilled beef palliard. We had to ask the waiter what palliard was, and it's just strips of beef. Dessert was ice cream for me and a cheese plate for Paul. The funny thing is, you get more cheese than biscuits, and one of the cheeses is parmesan, but a huge big wedge of it. After dinner, we went for a wander, and to see what this Irish Galleria that was advertised around the ship was. It was some kind of newfangled thing where they took a picture of your eyes and then you could turn it into art. Hmm, interesting. The Ibiza party was on again. The funny thing is the venue wasn't that full, but they don't even like you looking in the back door. It's like a massive secret, so again the venue was quite quiet. It's quite difficult to find the entrance to the venue, and it was really like you're being turned away. We had a look at the deals and future cruising. Unless they're giving me a free cruise in here, I definitely won't be back. Until MSC actually work out what their brand is and the experience they want to provide to their customers, they're never going to feature high in my first choice of cruises. This ship looks nice aesthetically, but the experience and service on board is massively lacking. The latest deals are up to 200 off per cabin. The decent thing is they do really cheap cruises, so that's why you go on them. After the future cruise era, we popped over to Pizza and Burger to see what sweet treats they had on offer. I grabbed a couple of small chocolate donuts. I wanted to go down and see the Bubbles restaurant and see the large wine racks outside the venue. And I'm sure there are a few people watching this now that wish they had these wine racks in their home. On returning to the room we were met with a crab towel animal, I also stepped out onto the balcony for some air and to watch the sea at night. There was a great set of fires in the distance that didn't come out that well on the camera, but they do look like two orange dots. As we climbed into bed, all was okay, and then just as we were about to turn out the lights, it was like doom, doof, doom, doof, doom, doof, doom, doof. It was that time again. Yeah, this time it was louder than ever. I called customer service to ask for the venue to turn the volume down, because it had been doof, 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 doof for about two hours now, and it's now around about 1.30am. The conversation went as follows. 
I won't tell them to turn it down, sir. It's a party. It's a cruise ship. And this is the first you've complained. If you complained on day one, we could have moved cabins. Now, the funniest thing is, all the cabins of this type we have are all on this deck, so I don't see how that would have been possible and still won't solve the problem. The noise was nothing like this level on night one. Well, sir, we can't turn the volume down. It's going to finish around 1.30. You'll just have to wait 30 minutes. But it is your last night on board and I can't change your room. Um, I think you'll find we still have a night on board tomorrow. No apology. It was just finished in 30 minutes, put up with it. And then again, he said, but if you had complained on day one, we would have moved your cabins. Which I replied, this is the worst customer service I've ever received. I explained that I had complained a few times and nothing had happened. I don't care, he said. I can't tell them to turn the volume down. It's a party and you're on a cruise ship. I retorted quite angrily that there's a button that says volume next to it and you can turn it down. And I've been on over 40 cruises and we've never had this much noise coming from any venue that our room has been above or even near. I remember our first cruise in Independence of the Seas. We were next to the old nightclub that was on board and the parties would go on until 3 o'clock in the morning. We would hear nothing. So then he replied again, but you haven't complained during your cruise this is the first time I can see from my records there's nothing I can do but it'll finish in 30 minutes I said it will finish in 30 minutes is your final answer if so probably the worst customer service I've ever received I don't care sir he said I can't do nothing it will finish in 30 minutes at this point I said goodbye and put the phone down it took about another hour for one of the musics to stop. The other doof 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 continued, but it was much quieter, like it had been turned down. Uh, hang on a second, I spoke too soon. Around about 70 minutes later, it stopped. Tonight was the worst night for it. And the irony is, the clocks went forward an hour, so actually it should have finished 30 minutes before I made my call to guest services. I did have to refocus my mind to help me get back to sleep around 3am when all was calm. With that, we'll pick you up again soon. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.